Look at these chilling interrogation tapes of Chris Watts, the Colorado man who confessed to killing his family in cold blood. Authorities are now giving us an inside look at the investigation just days after Watts was sentenced to life in prison. And here are the details. That's right, George and everyone. The tapes reveal just about every key step in this investigation that led to Chris Watts' arrest. But among the most compelling, the recordings of what he said during that police interrogation. For the first time, we are hearing Chris Watts confess to murdering his wife. I just felt such anger that not, nothing, I didn't feel anything. The father of two, seen here with his father in a police interrogation room, blaming the death of the couple's two daughters on his wife, Shannon Watts. A lie he repeated to investigators. And the babies are gone. And uh, I put my hands around my wife's neck and did that same thing. It's, did Shannon fight back at all? He would later plead guilty to all three murders. Overnight, the Colorado DA's office releasing dozens of videos from the investigation. The Watts home being searched by police and canines. Surveillance video showing Watts loading items into his truck in the morning after the murder. Later, he's seen showing investigators where to find his family's bodies. Okay, can you work it for me? And drone video of the oil field where the bodies were found. His wife wrapped in sheets from their bed. Why take their bodies out of the house and bury them? I was scared. I didn't know what else to do. Prosecutors say he was having an affair with a co-worker and wanted a, quote, fresh start. In newly released text messages, Shannon, who was pregnant with the couple's third child, confronting her husband over their troubled marriage. While you were working and living the bachelor life, I'm carrying our third and fighting with our two kids daily. That co-worker, Nicole Kessinger, telling police she had no idea he was still married. He lied to me because if I'd have known that he had a child on the way, I'd have never wasted my time with him in the first place. Prosecutors releasing these photos of Watts and Kessinger on romantic trips together and say she was searching for wedding dresses in the days before the murders. After Watts confessed, investigators say she was searching how much money Amber Fry received for her book detailing her relationship with Scott Peterson before he murdered his pregnant wife, Lacey, in 2002. I'm still in shock that this whole thing happened. I like, I, I, like, that's why I gave him the benefit of the doubt for the first day, because I was just like, no way. Like, I didn't even think about that. I mean, murder was not on the top of my mind when somebody doesn't come home for an evening. Now, a judge sentenced Chris Watts last week to three consecutive life sentences without the possibility of parole. But perhaps the most chilling part of the story is that everyone who knew Chris never saw this coming. Mm. Yes. Wow. Yes. Never yes. saw any signs of violence. In and him. just so matter of fact in that room. Yeah. So oh. chilling. All right. Thanks, Amy.